Uh, yes, um, my name is, is of course, Forster. I am a research professor at the moment at the uh, Northwest University. Uh, my field of study is uh, social ethics, uh, with particular interest in the relevance of Christian ethics in the social, political, and economic field in Africa. And I am the final editor of our book series, Reformed Theology in Africa. Over the years, I did research at the United Nations in Geneva about uh, human rights and especially uh, human rights relating to social, political, and social economic issues. We decided to uh, do research on the uh, economic policies and, of course, the uh, situation of the poor in, in Africa and also especially here in, in South Africa and we paid attention to economic policies, uh, the idea of social democracy and so forth. So um, our book is an attempt to um, initiate further the discourse uh, from the perspective of Christian, Christian ethics but not particularly, only exclusively Christian ethics uh, in, in uh, stimulating research and discourse about uh, socio-economic issues in South Africa. Uh, one of our uh, editors of this particular book is uh, Dr. Jan Fenter, and I uh, will now give him the opportunity to also uh, say something about his own affiliation and also to say something about the contents of the book and the people who um, took part in this research. Jan? Thank you, Professor. I am Jan Venter. I am a political scientist uh, I am very interested in political economy. Uh, I work, my research is in the trade focus area in uh, economics and management uh, environment. And in the time we are living at the moment, it is very interesting to find a group of people that have a normative vision uh, for, and it's actually imperative that you find people with a normative vision for political economy. The world is actually now moving into a postmodern environment where you have relativism, where you have um, new liberalism, where you have new, uh, new nationalism, and it's all ideologies that has, to a certain extent, left the world with questions that remains unanswered. And that has brought me to the ethics department and Prof. Kuis and his people, and to this book, that I'm um, co-editor of. And um, I'm very proud to say that some of the people that has written, all of the people that has written uh, for this book, for this publication, are very experienced. We have people from overseas, Prof. Lucas Freire, now, um, studying in Boston in the UK. We have the other editor of the book, um, Dr. Morten Bostrud from Norway. And uh, the people 
like prof course that are senior academics that can mold junior academics and can mold uh, junior writers by their experience and the view on life, a view on uh, the questions that we face uh, in this book that we try to answer. And it was a very interesting project. It was something that we all grew from. And uh, we hope that there will be many more. Yes, I think I can add to what uh, Dr. Jan said um, by saying that uh, in Africa we have our own kind of social economic problems. Some of them are remnants of the colonial past. Uh, some of them are due to um, bad political management, including uh, uh, corruption and so forth, bo bo both in the uh, private and in the public sector. Um, so I think this kind of debate is, is very important for our growth in Africa and to really try and alleviate poverty, not only by way of our uh, invest investments as churches among the poor, but also in influencing policies uh, that to our mind, uh, both from a Christian uh, ethical perspective and from the perspective of political economy uh, to, to promote policies that can also uh, stop this uh, perennial poverty in South Africa. Why it is important that we also look from a Christian uh, perspective, Christian ethical perspective, is the fact that uh, Poverty in, in the Bible is addressed over and over, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. In the Old Testament, the policy was amongst the people of Israel, the people of the Old Testament, that there should be no poor amongst you. And in the New Testament, Jesus Christ and the apostles, they um, developed this basic rule further into the New Testament community where um, Jesus, for example, uh, taught his disciples that the poor are blessed. And that does not only mean a spiritual blessing, but it also means blessings in this life. And he also uh, taught the rich to be sharing and compassionate uh, towards uh, the poor. So we would like to, to bring uh, the Christian message to the platform, to the public spaces uh, in Africa, in our country, but not only with a theological paradigm, but also with um, the uh, uh, ideas, the research results from uh, uh, political sciences. And I think we, we have succeeded into combining uh, a normative vision uh, from uh, political sciences of Christian ethical perspective to say something about what we think should be done in, in Africa and how we try to stimulate a discourse on this matter. Yes, if I can jump in there, I think the book will be uh, of interest to scholars and professionals uh, in both uh, political economy and political sciences 
in ethics, of course. So it is uh, something that had a wide interest. It's something that will have uh, an impact in different um, scientific fields. And uh, it's more than just the usual answers that you get in textbooks today. Thank you, um, Jan, uh, and I want to, to thank you and, and Dr. Marston Bostrud also for editing this uh, publication and uh, our final editorial board um, will be very pleased to see the results of this research um, in the end. Thank you very much and thank you for AOSIS scholarly books uh, to publish this book as part of our series uh, about reformed theology in Africa today. Thank you. Thank you.